Hello everybody, this is Excel Video 293 and I'm Nate Moore. I was helping a group yesterday pull information out of their PM system regarding where all their doctors and all their other providers were scheduled throughout the week. And we put that into a spreadsheet so they can easily choose a day and look at future schedules and see exactly where everybody is without having to go in and out of their PM system to look at everybody's schedule. When you're ready to pull scheduling data out of your PM system, I'd love to help you. What we're going to do today is if it's not the best feature in pivot tables, it's certainly in the top three. And it's a really powerful way to drill down and get to information. If you've ever had the experience I have where you bring a report into a physician or an administrator and you say, here are the numbers, and they say, no, 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 your numbers aren't right, they can't be right, you're wrong, whatever. Here is a beautiful feature in pivot tables I want to show you today. And it's a drill down feature. What I've done is taken some of the filters away, put states over here in the row labels, put uh, the physicians over here in the column labels. And let's assume I'm with, oh, Dr. Sleeping Queens. And he says, there is no way I've only got $2,600 worth of collections in North Carolina. There's just no way. What you can do for any cell in a pivot table, any value, maybe I'll, I'll, I should clarify, any value, any of these values in a pivot table, all you need to do is double click that cell and look what Excel will do. Widen this out a little bit. Here is the detail of every row that makes up this $2,665. So if you were to come over here and just total these just for fun, there's the $2,665. But here's all the detail. Here's the date of the collection, the amount, the payer, the payer type, the state, the referring physician, all the way across. Here's everything I know about that collection all at a double click. And notice how it's, it's context sensitive. I got 2665 because I clicked here. If I clicked on the entire 7.5 million down here, there is every line item that makes up every row and column in that pivot table. So I can go end and down, and I've got 15,000 rows of data, and there's everything that makes it up. And then the other really powerful way of, that Excel presents this information is in a table format. So what I could do is if I wanted to get just the Georgia collections from here, I can just filter Georgia just like we were filtering the other day in pivot tables. These tables will allow you to filter this way. And no, 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 all I want is claims from secondary payers in Georgia to Dr. Uno. And there they are. Very, very powerful way to understand data in a pivot table. And all you have to do is double click. Any of these value cells in a pivot table, Excel, when you double click, Excel will go down and give you the detail that makes up that cell. Very, if it's not the best feature, it's certainly top three. It's a great way to get and analyze data in a pivot table. Stay tuned next time I've got more tricks for you. Thanks for watching.